season two, episode one. So, welcome back to Memory Monday. We're on a brand new season. The second season of Memory Monday. So, today's, oh, today's first episode of the second season. We're going to be taking a look at Race Damage Fruit Springs, known as Damage Chuck Armstrong. And here's a screenshot of his only release from the Final Lap Collection back in 2010. He was 144 in the Final Lap Collection. And he was only released once because Mattel made him super rare and super valuable. And I've heard on eBay, there was only, I found one on eBay and I didn't buy it. And he was $300. Because he's one of the rarest Final Lap cars that Mattel has made. And they made him super accurate. That is why Mattel made him super rare and super hard to find. And if you have this damage Fruit Springs, you are lucky. And if you found him in a store, congratulations. So... Here's a screenshot where he appeared the a famous role and when he says, Don't take me out, coach, I can still race where Tow Truck Tom was towing him away from the race after the Donico 400 where Chick Hicks crashed and destroyed all the cars except for McQueen and King. And luckily, all of them survived except for Chuck except for Chuck, Clark, Lee. And, and Lee Refkin, sadly. They all got beaten up all because of Chick Hicks. But, well, at least we love Chuck Armstrong. And if you want, if you have him, you can feel free to display him with Tow Truck Tom. In your collection, like I'm doing right now. So without further ado, let's get to you on Race Damage Fruit Springs. So here is Race Damage Fruit Springs, known as Chuck Armstrong. He is in a lot of pain and he is he's squinting his eye and his and if you don't know, he does have a separate mouth and an eye plate. Back in 2010, he was during the segmentations like mouth plate. The, the scratch and tarmac, root springs, so scratched up. And he's all T boned, unlike T bone from Cars Tree, number 33. I cannot read the contingency sponsors because <coughs> he's a, has, he has a lot of damage, and I'm glad they made him accurate and they added the blue rims, unlike. The normal Chuck Armstrong there, which I made of a blue rim version, which will compare to Chuck Armstrong sooner. So, he is super detailed, and he was made in 2009. I do have a date stamp version of him, and he's all jangled up. The dirty trees are dark, and the black thing is like the third track, like the tarmac. And the back, the spoiler's cleaner, but his whole body's all destroyed. <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta give Mattel credit. Because he's super duper phenomenal and fire and lit. He's so phenomenal. And if you don't have this guy, I feel bad for you if you don't have him. But I imagine if he can get a re-release from Thailand... That'll be interesting for collectors who don't have him. But I do have the China version, but there's no Mattel stick around. There's no Mattel stamp on him, sadly, but he has some hydraulics up. And one of his wheels can't roll, but like one of his, wheel, one of his wheels are up, as I mentioned, and the rest can roll. Very super detailed. He's 
It's all crashed up, all because of chick kicks. And he does have the blue window bars. I really love this guy. So let's do a comparison with the normal Chuck Armstrong. <coughs> Even though the blue colors are different, while Chuck has a navy blue, and unlike the damaged version, has a blue. Although I do prefer the damaged version over the normal one. And the, the normal one is all cleaner and cleaner before he got injured by Chuck. Damaged one has a lot of details. And on the side, the normal one does not have T-boned. On the damaged one, he's all, he's T-boned. He's all mangled up. Normal one is cleaner. Bruce Springs is one of my favorite sponsors, along with Chuck Armstrong, Dead Trumpet, no, along with Ed Trunkin. And the Dirty Tree is cleaner, and the, there's some black tarmac on Dirty Tree. So, there are some damaged cars that Mattel has released that I want to compare. Let's do the Damage King. Even though they're racers and they're Piston Cup racers, they're damaged. And one was released back in 2009. And one was released back in 2010. One didn't finish the race, and one finished the race by Lightning McQueen, who helped the king. And if you didn't know, Mattel made a smiley face on Race Damage King. <coughs> race Damage King is really, really phenomenal, but Race Damage Boots things for the win. <coughs> but luckily, he didn't become worse. Unlike race damage, Chuck Armstrong. So which one do you prefer? Damage King or Damage Chuck Armstrong? Might as well be Damage Chuck Armstrong. As I forgot to mention with the normal one. Which one do you prefer? The normal one or the damage version? Damage version all the way. <coughs> so... If you didn't know, I got out damaged Rock Truck Red Line to compare. The reasons are one, they're damaged, two, they're blue, and three, they're dam Mattel made them damaged. And Rock Truck Red Line got damaged in the bathroom in Cars 2 before he got killed by the lemons. And Rod was worried that he was gonna die, and his trunk is all damaged. At least he's a little. At least he's buried in damaged boot springs. And I forgot to show you the date based on Damaged King. He was made in two thousand eight, though. And his mirror's broken. And the license plate is about to fall apart. Oh man! At least he's a better. At least he didn't get beaten up by. Unlike Damaged Boot Springs. So which one do you prefer, Damaged Rod or Damaged Chuck Armstrong? My answer will be Damaged Chuck Armstrong. And however, there is a damaged card that I do not have that Mattel has released known as Track Damage Cruise. She is new for 2021 and although this is exciting and sadly I do not have her and if I do, I'll compare it to Race Damage Mood Springs along with Damage King and Damage Rock Truck Grand Line when I get her. You can expect a review for Track Damage Crews and Mirrors. <coughs> and that will do it for this review on Race Damage Mood Springs known as Chuck Armstrong. I hope you guys enjoyed the set. The the first episode of season two, but you can still vote on my community tab if you who who you want to vote for and who to win for next Monday. So hope you guys enjoyed this review and we'll see you next time and goodbye.
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. Don't take me out, coach. I can still race.